uh, we'll pick up from where we have uh, two weeks ago, uh, and you showing um, that the salvation um, for the for the world uh, when Christ came, uh, that salvation is for all nations. Meaning, and again, I'm uh, speaking um, today terms. Uh, that salvation would be for a, a white man. That salvation would be for a Japanese man, a Chinese man, an African man, an Indian man. Uh, as well as blacks, you know, like for everybody, the entire earth, that salvation uh, is for that entire earth. So, and again, those Gentiles in those Bibles, uh, in the Bible, you did say that there were two Gentiles, correct, Pastor Will? That's correct. And and, and, and okay. that was confirmed by our, our brother, is it Asparian? Is that, is that correct? I don't want to get his name wrong. Captain, you just say Captain. No yeah, you, could just, you could just call me Cap. No sweat, brother. Hey, excellent. Uh, but yeah, there, there, there are. There, the Bible does speak of two types of of Gentile. There's a Gentile, and, and and this brother was talking about that last week. The Gentile that that does not know God at all, and those were, and then there was the lost children or the lost tribe of Israel that became part of the Gentile nation. Uh, so there are two types of Gentiles, but but even even in in the book. There was one. There's there's one group of people that that as I was reading uh, that that uh, the Bible says would be totally destroyed, and and uh, those were the Edomites. Uh, but other than that, the the Bible uh, to you know does not talk about uh, the Holy Bible doesn't talk about any others. God wished that all men uh, could come to repentance and be saved and come to the knowledge of, of God. Now there was a, at one time the only people that could be saved were the children of Israel because they were the only ones that had the knowledge of God. The reason God put the children of Israel uh, in a position that they were in was because he first through the promise, but because of the fact he wanted the other uh, heathen nations that didn't believe in him to know who he was, so that they would see how blessed that the children were, and they would come to believe in him and act like them. So he, okay. he, he, he even down through, okay. the, through 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 history, he wished that all would be saved. Okay, uh, okay. Let me let me interject some uh, something just to get some clarification, Pastor Will. You stated uh, the word Edomites. Uh, I want you to uh, explain who the Edomites would be today, because those people are getting completely destroyed, which they, which which is a concern of mine. Okay. And uh, uh, again, uh, to, to my understanding, the Edomites are, are, are the Iranians. Uh, uh, they're they're the the descendants of uh, Esau. They're the descendants of Esau, and uh, there were some things that Esau did. That, you know, like I said, the, the, in, in a book that's not in the in the, in the Bible, uh, the the in in, a, in the canonized Bible that really displeased God. And so uh, there's there's some scriptures that talk about him totally. Uh, destroying that particular uh, clan or group of people. Okay, so we get some scriptures on that, take some notes on that. And as well, the other one, uh, you just said that um, salvation being to all uh, people. Uh, so give me some scriptures on that. Let's go ahead and uh, get into uh, pull some sure. scriptures on on now, what you just spoke it's one thing, about. We, I'm sorry. When, when, when we were talking about um, the – the Jew, the Jews and the Gentiles. The Jews mm-hmm. had a ritual uh, that they did in which they would bring uh, into the clan or into the fold those that were not Jews. Uh, e- even God told Abraham uh, when Abraham, uh, excuse me, excuse me, not Abraham, told Jacob uh, uh-huh. to make sure that all of his household got circumcised. He also told Abraham the same thing. His whole household is that they would be uh so that 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 they would 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 all uh basically be under the same covenant. That was everybody okay. in his household, even his slaves. And okay, there, there's there I'm I'm saying in, in Acts and it, when when the apostle Paul was was talking and teaching in Acts, Acts 13 and 43. 13 and 43, <clears throat> excuse me, he says, now when the congregation had broken up, he was, he, was, he was talking to a congregation in the synagogue. He said, when the congregation had broken up, 
Many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. Now, what caught my eye was, what's a, pro, what's a religious proselyte, and, and why would they be with the Jews? Well, they, are, they were non, non-Jewish people, non-believers that converted to Judaism. And when they converted, mm-hmm. they, became, they came under the same covenant as the Jews did. They had to they had to go through a, 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 a three part ritual and then uh, which was sacrifice circumcision and baptism and so if they did if God allowed them to do that then when Jesus came along then if those that believed in Him being circumcised in their heart whomever they were Jew or Greek then therefore they were would also be accepted into into the body now if we look at Romans nine. Uh, Romans 10, let's see, if you look at Romans 10, and uh, uh, Romans 10 and 13, I think it is, uh, Romans 10, well, we're going to start at Romans 10 and 9, because this is, this is where, uh, when you're talking about salvation in Christ, is where uh, my faith talks about being, everybody being included and being baptized. He says, this, this is the Apostle Paul. Uh, talking uh, to the Roman church, that if, if thou shalt believe in thy mouth of the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, which means salvation. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever, whosoever believeth on him should not be ashamed. And then he goes on to say in, in the 12th verse, for there is no difference between the Jew in the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Then he again reemphasizes, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, okay. and, and go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, okay, so what it is, I'm trying to get you to speak. Now, the way we do uh, uh, going back and forth and debating and so forth, uh, now you're speaking, you're starting to pull scriptures, and that's what we need because Captain Kadazar, uh, who who I've seen in the past, he's an excellent uh, uh, debater. Um, what happens he's is on the, scripture. Uh, the person. <laughs> right, right, no, no, no. I'm saying the person. What the uh, what the other person does is they have to first before they begin to speak, they have to take what the person has said and the scriptures they've done mm-hmm. and and talk about those and get some clearance on those before they speak. So it's good that you have some type of um, uh, knowledge on how to. Uh, uh, do the dialogue, okay? Okay, okay, fantastic. Okay, now uh, is that enough for now? You want to uh, give the other brother a chance? Uh, that, to speak, yeah, uh, I, 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 I would like to hear his take because you know this is what this is this is uh, part of the basis of our belief, and that's why I say all men are included uh, into salvation if they believe. Okay, all right, fantastic. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, uh, let Captain Katazai Parium from the ISUPK go ahead and respond uh, to that, Pastor William. Brother, brother said a lot. I'm going to work in reverse order, um, seeing as how he pulled the scripture at the latter end, and everything else was either paraphrased or not really in the scriptures. Um, when you go to Romans, the 10th chapter, if we start at the first verse, typically the beginning of the chapter is going to give you the context of what the rest of the chapter is actually about. When you read Romans 10 and 1, it says, brethren, you understand, my brothers, this is who my brothers are. My heart's desire and prayer, God, for Israel is that they might be saved. The very beginning of this chapter is speaking of Israel and explaining that he wants Israel to be saved. That's all Paul talks about. Why? Because Israel is the one who fell. Israel is the one who needs to be redeemed. Because there's nowhere in the scriptures where you can show me where the Most High opened the covenant to any other nation or where he gave it to any other nation. Anytime the covenant is spoken of, it's spoken of with the promises. It's spoken of to the fathers of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It has never been opened up to any single other nation. So I bear them record that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge, and that's anybody outside of this truth. 
as anybody who wants to open up salvation to the other nations. They have a zeal for the Lord. They think they want to serve the Lord, but they don't know how. That's why whatever religion we go in, we go hard. But whether if we're in Islam, we bang our head on the floor seven times a day. If, if, if we're in Christianity, we're running laps around the church and banging a tambourine and, and, and playing that, that damn organ like we're little riches. You understand? Mm. But we don't have a knowledge of how to serve the Lord. So now, when you drop down, to touch on the actual scriptures, you understand? When you were to drop down, you said verse 12. Verse 12 is giving you even more context about who this is speaking of. So there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Why is it bringing up the Jew? Because the Jew is the southern kingdom or the bulk of the southern kingdom that is the remnant that was inside Jerusalem at this time. Why is that, that the main population? Because the kingdom of Israel, we briefly went over this last time, that the kingdom of Israel split into a north and a southern kingdom. And the northern kingdom was taken away in the captivity. Now, the southern kingdom also went into captivity but was brought back into the land. So there is neither Jew nor Greek. Now, why would it say Greek? That word Greek, I'm not sure if you study the Greek at all, but that word Greek is going to be Hellenic or Hellenist. Pastor, are you familiar right. with the term Hellenist? Right. That's correct. Uh, not, are, you, are you familiar with the term Hellenist? Yes. I, I said that you, you're correct in what you're saying, yeah. Oh, okay. So this, this is the definition of a Hellenist. Hellenist, a person living in Hellenistic times who was Greek in language, outlook, and way of life, but was not Greek in ancestry, especially a Hellenized Jew. Because now, whether you may, may mention earlier of books that weren't a part of the canon, so I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to surmise that you don't agree or believe in the Apocrypha. But when you read the Apocrypha, because Christ celebrated the Feast of Dedications, which the only place you can find the Feast of Dedication is in First and Second Maccabees. But mm-hmm. for argument's sake, you understand when you read Maccabees, you find out that it was illegal for the Jews to call themselves Jews or to, or to profess themselves to be a Jew or to celebrate any of their feast days, Sabbath days, holidays, anything you, any which way you want to call them. Why? Because they were Hellenized. The same way so-called Negroes in America became Americanized, meaning what? We took on the culture of our oppressor just like these Hellenized Jews. That verse that you pulled is not speaking of all nations. And even if we went into your context with it, that does not open it up to every nation on the planet. That only opens it up to the so-called Greek and the so-called white man. So you still have not showed me where salvation is for everybody. But even according to the context, and you said you know what the word Hellenist means, we're still only talking about Jews who grew up in Jerusalem and Greek, Hellenized Greek who are the Israelites who are still in these Greek territories, speaking Greek, practicing Greek customs, but do not know who they are. Now, just to touch on everything else that you said, I don't want to be a little too long-winded, but you stated that it was the Lord's mission to open this up to every other nation on the face of the earth. I'm paraphrasing what you said. That's nowhere in the scriptures. But what is in the scriptures, which I'm going to read, Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord has not dealt with any other nation. He never planned on dealing with any other nation, and he's never going to deal with any other nation. That's not in the scriptures. Now, you also stated that they were allowed to come or they, those that were around got circumcised. Well, of course, it's the law of the land. Just like if you go to China, you're going to have to follow what the Chinese say. That doesn't make you a first-class citizen. You as a black man will be a second-class citizen no matter where you go on the globe that another race is ruling. Just like in the scriptures when it says in Revelation, the second chapter, that Christ will rule these nations with an iron rod. That means that the Chinese and Japanese can't eat a uh, 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 cat, rat, and dog. You understand? They can't eat shrimp and crab and lobster and any of these things because they will have to follow Christ's rulership because every knee shall bend. 
You understand? And who will rule underneath him? The 144,000, which is his government, which clearly it states it's 12,000 from every single other tribe. So there is nowhere in the scriptures where it's opened up to anybody else. I'm going to give you one more precept in the Old Testament, you understand? Before and he does. I jump back on my, on my last point. This is where, uh-huh. He does. Uh, I spoke with Pastor Willie throughout the week. He does subscribe to the Apocrypha. Oh, well, if you do subscribe to the Apocrypha, then you would know in, in 2 Maccabees, the 6th chapter and the 6th verse, exactly what I'm talking about with the start of the Jews who became Hellenized. So now, back to my other precept. This is Lamentations 1 and 10. The adversary hath spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things, for she hath seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary, whom thou didst command that they should not enter into thy congregation. It, there have been times where other nations have served Israel, where they have served us, where they've been in our military, where they, like Rahab, uh, uh, was a traitor to their entire nation, destroyed her own people so Israel could conquer the land of Jericho and we could move throughout the land of Israel. But they are not to come to our Passovers. They are not to come in our temple. They are not to come in our holy places. They are second-class citizens. They are servants. So with that being said, uh, the only other thing that I want to say is in our last conversation, you had stated that Gentiles were only non-Israelites. I'm not sure if that's something that you, 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 you didn't get a chance to specify on. Or if that's, if that's something new to, to your recollection or whatever the case may be. But as, as, far as, as far as what I understand, the last time you stated that that was old, that, that Gentiles was a word specifically used for non-Israelites. And with that, I pass the floor back to you, brother. Okay, Pastor. We didn't want to uh, respond uh, respond to what Captain Kataza Aparian just uh, 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 yeah, he said. He- he said a lot in there, uh, but when he's talking about the Hellenistic Jews, some of the Hellen or well, the Hellenistic people, some of them that that were were uh, uh, that took on Judaism were not just Jews. Some of them were also, and, and even talking about the Greeks, some of them were not just Greeks. And 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 you're saying that was the law of the land uh, dealing with with the Jews uh, as far as it being being. Uh, Circumcised and, and going through that ritual, they, they these people didn't have to go through that ritual, but they wanted. To, they, uh, apparently, they came to the knowledge of who God was and wanted to serve and be under that rulership. That's why they went through that ritual. And that ritual set of precedents. Uh, when you're talking about one doing one thing, in the Old Testament, New Testament, uh, John baptized and Jesus baptized. John baptized. Uh, unto, uh, uh, for repentance of sin, what Jesus baptized uh, according to the scripture uh, uh, for, for uh, to well actually Jesus never baptized. Excuse me, I, I, I don't mean to say that, but his disciples baptized them in Jesus' name, uh, letting people know that they were coming under the 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 leadership or under the knowledge of Christ and following Christ. So if if if, if they baptized. Uh, if if the Jew, Jewish people or the Israelites uh, baptized uh, in, in, according to Paul with what I just read, and Jesus baptized, well, they would if, if if God allowed them to come in the fold, then why would He not allow others to come into the fold? See, th- some things you're saying it, it, it it sounds real good, and, and you're interpreting the scriptures according to 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 the knowledge that 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 you're throwing out, but it doesn't. It, it's not equating to uh, the scriptures that I've read. Okay. Oh, yeah, about to see if break it down. Okay, we need uh, off. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Who is that? We need off phones on uh, mute. Uh, besides, uh, um, Pastor Will and uh, Captain Catazza, please off phones on mute. Yeah. Hear background now, now, brother. That, mm. that, that's that's a nice you understand a uh, uh, bunch of rhetoric you spewed, but can you actually show me this in the scriptures? Because the scriptures you pulled, I read you the definition of Hellenist. I can pull two or three more sources where Hellenists will talk about Hellenized Jews. 
if you even if you want to talk about the mission of Paul, at the very o- very opening of of all these chapters that you're pulling is only talking about Israel. Do you understand? Same thing even when it comes down to uh, I mean anything that you pull, you haven't shown me where it can be opened up. You even agreed to me that it said Hellenist. When I read the definition of Hellenist, it's talking about Hellenized Jews. I even gave you the history of how the Jews became Hellenized and why they would be called or would be speaking Greeks in the first place. So if you could actually show me what you're saying based upon the scriptures, because what I did is what you stated, I went to the scriptures. I'm not giving you, you know, my own understanding. I'm not giving. I'm, I'm giving you the definitions of words as they mean. I even gave you the Greek, what the original tongue that it was written in. We can go to the Hebrew. We can go to the Greek. And I went through the scriptures to back my argument. I've yet to find a scripture that you pulled which shows me the context is outside of Israel. Hello. I'm sorry. I, I muted my phone. I, I'm looking for for that definition of the because I found the, what you're talking about with the Hellenistic Jews and and like I say when when it says it's a form of Judaism of the ancient world. This is a de- the definition combined with Jewish religious tradition uh, with uh, elements of Greek culture. All right. Until the fall of Roman Empire and the Muslim conquest of the the Eastern Mediterranean, what? The, the main centers of Hellenistic Judaism was in, in Egypt, all right? So, I mean, th- this was not just Jews that practiced that. Okay. And it's right there. This was that, absolutely that. Jews who practiced this because, okay, we have to actually take a look at what time period we're in. You understand? We, 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 the time right. period that we're in and the areas that we're in, what, what, what happens is, is that, once again, if you subscribe to the Maccabees, then you know chronologically Christ, uh, Christ came on the scene, you understand, and the New Testament comes on the scene after, you understand, the Hasmonean dynasty or the Maccabean empire. So now what we're talking about is that the, the, the Maccabees go and they fight the Greeks, and they had to fight the Greeks because the Greeks were trying to conquer us. And that's why it mentions that it was illegal for them to call themselves a Jew, can call themselves. Greeks, and this is why the New Testament is written in Greek, because the Greco-Roman Empire, you understand, was ruling the earth at this time. This is why Roman soldiers came to arrest Christ, because when you, when Christ steps on the scene, we're coming after the Maccabees. So we're talking about that Hellenized period of the Seleucids. You understand that that general that went and started the Hellenization, not in Egypt, not in Africa. He started that in Antioch. He started that in the Middle East. He started that throughout those Greek providences where they took our people captive. But once again, you can try to take different time periods, but we're talking about the time period when Christ walked. And at that time period, those Hellenists were Jews, which is why the definition, I can give you another definition. I can give you, I can give you two or three sources. That was the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. I can pull out the Zondervan Bible Pictorial Dictionary, which will show that any time you see that word Greek, and sometimes when you see the word Gentile, it's going to say Helen. And in that context, it's Hellenized Jews. Okay, Pastor, what do you want to respond? Well, like I said, he, 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 he's giving me uh, uh, definitions uh, of, of certain things, but he's saying it's Hellenized Jews, but uh the the when you still look at the the the, the definition of it the, the definition that I just told him is not just hellenized Jews even though they were conquered at that time yeah but if it, when when others took on that religion there were others that were not Jews that's why they called them proselytes because they took on the religion okay then the, the, okay no it's okay the proselyte is just somebody who converts back into their culture that mm-hmm. proselyte that you're reading about is also an Israelite. Just like last week, you see, um, two weeks ago, you said something different. You understand? It's on tape. This week, you're saying there's two different types of Jews. I mean, two different types of, of Gentiles. Well, the same way those Gentiles who were Israelites who started living amongst Gentile nations can come back into the fold. That's the same way. That's the same, that's the same as these proselytes. It's just another name for it, for them returning 
back. And that's the whole purpose. The whole purpose was that Israel was scattered, which we went over this two weeks ago. I gave you all the scriptures where Israel was scattered, every single one of them. And where it's not every single one of them, but the, the bulk of them. And, and when I read every single one of them, they're all addressed to Israel being scattered and coming back. The 12 tribes coming back. Okay. And the scripture that I, I just read, you saying that that's just for, uh, 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 according to what you read to me, uh, is that's just for the Jews, but uh, when I look up the definition of, of 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 what a Jewish postulate was, then it doesn't say what you just said. It says that it was anyone that converted to Judaism, not just those that were coming back. Okay, Judaism isn't even an actual religion. You can't convert to being a Jew. Well, Jew is a tribe. Jew is a birthright. You can't you can't become from the tribe of Judah. You have to be born. From the lineage of Judah You have to be To be an Israelite Ike means to be the son of Which is why everybody Traced their lineage paternally You have to be right. born that way This isn't this isn't something You can convert to Well they According to uh, The definitions that I've read And I just read to you They they were going back into Or they were were Taking on this religion Or this custom these are people that, that were not Jew, Jewish or not Israelites that took on this custom. They were not born uh, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the tribe of Israel. Okay, well, well then this is what I want. So show, show, me, show me this in the scriptures. Like, once mm-hmm. again, I still haven't seen this in the scriptures. Like, you, you stated something. I showed you the Greek. I gave you the definition. And then I gave you the history according to what the scripture says from Maccabees on down showing that everything I state matches in context, including the verse that you pulled where the opening verse says it is for all Israel to be saved. So can you actually show me this in the scriptures? Because Which once person, again, you can turn around and about that, that somebody, that some, uh, the, the, uh, I'm talking about in the chapter of, of, of Romans, the 10th chapter, where it's stated right. about Jew and Lord Greek. You understand? In the very first verse of that chapter talks about all Israel being saved, which is why I stated that even contextually, those Hellenists, those Hellenists, those Hellenists, those Hellenistic people, those Greeks in that chapter are those who were Hellenized during those captivities. You understand? So now, with that being stated, you still haven't showed me anywhere in the scriptures where salvation is for all nations, because once again, even if I go off of your context. That means the Jews and white people are the only people can be saved. If we take it as literal as you want me to take it. Mm. Well, now, how's that as the Jews and white people? Because uh, the, uh, the, they, 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 they were intermingling of, of, of the, uh, the children of Israel with other people also when they got in captivity. So it couldn't just be Jews and white people. Okay, the, Inter, inter, intermingling has absolutely nothing to do with if somebody is an Israelite or not, because the Lord even continues to say he will sift us out the sieve of these other nations. Mm-hmm. So once again, can you show me any of this according to the scriptures? I just did. Is there any way for, uh, for you to get another uh, scripture that can uh, go ahead and substantiate your claims? Um that it means salvation for all nations. Even when it's when with Jesus, look at Matthew twenty eight, sixteen and twenty. Okay. I need to pull okay. this up on the King James version instead of the other. Again, what was that, uh, Pastor Will, what was that now? Matthew twenty eight, sixteen and twenty. And this is Jesus when he was talking to his disciples. And now, I know this brother's going to equate that. Well, so he's only talking to Israel. Well, he says, and, and when he's talking about nations, then you're going to say it's only the nation. But he says, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things that I have commissioned you. And, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. 
That's your scripture? Yes, sir. No problem. Again, you have to understand context. Now, you can pull that one scripture and try to say that this is what it means. You understand? But now, I will show you. You understand? When you turn around and, and when you go all throughout Matthews, for example, you understand? When you go through, hold on, let me see here. Dun, dun, dun. So now, Matthews 10, and I'm going to start at 5. These 12, Yahweh, excuse me, I'll just say Jesus. These 12, Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He taught them that when they go out, you find the Israelites. You understand? So now, I'm going to continue on, and I'm going to work my way through Matthews. When you go into Matthews 15 and 24, he turns around and stated, uh, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why are they the lost sheep? I'll go back into Acts like I did the last time. Acts 2 and 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under the sun. The mm. reason as to why we had to go to other nations was because there were Jews, devout men, under every nation, under the, excuse me, not under the sun, every nation under heaven. Why were we in all these nations? Once again, I'm going to go back to James 1 and 1. And once again, you can't read these chapters and open them up to anyone else. It says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes. This is a letter. When a letter is addressed to somebody, it's a, it's, you can't say it, it goes to someone else. It belongs to someone else. That's mail fraud. No one can open up your mail. That's a federal offense. Right. He says what? He says what? To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting scattered where? Throughout every single nation. And even if you try to talk about Paul's mission, I'll go back into Acts. When, when you read about Paul traveling to all these lands, when you read about him in Acts the 13th, Acts the 15th, and then when he finally comes back, from his journey in Acts 21, excuse me, 21 verses 19 through 21. After he went to these other nations, let's find out who he spoke with. Acts 21, I'm going to start at verse 19. And when they had saluted them, he declared particularly things God had wrought among the Gentiles by his ministry. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, many things. Thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the law. And they are informed of thee that thou teach all Jews which are among the Gentiles. These are Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake mm-hmm. Moses, saying that they ought to not circumcise their children, neither walk after their customs. Why did he have to say this? For the same reason I'm explaining this to you. You understand? I don't because see where you they are. didn't understand Paul's mission. You said what, Pastor Willie? I missed his scripture. No problem. I'm pretty sure to take it back. The first chapter, 19 through 21, and I'm reading about when Paul came back and gave his report about the Jews he was preaching to among the Gentiles and these other nations, and they didn't understand what he was saying. They didn't, like, the, Paul's entire mission was to teach the Jews who were scattered in these other nations that James was writing to that Acts said in the beginning in Acts 2 and 5, that they can come back into the covenant and to teach the men living at Jerusalem, the Jews who knew their identity, that they could accept them back. I'll give you the floor. Uh, Are you talking to me? Hello? I I, I was talking to you the whole time. No, 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 no. She said I'd give you the floor. Right, meaning, 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 respond, uh, substantiate yeah. your claims okay. uh, biblically according to the Bible. Well, the things that he quoted, yeah, that, but there, 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 and I can't find my scripture on this. Mm. Uh, but there's, there's a, a time when Paul goes to uh, Rome, and and Paul is talking to the Roman, uh, sitting sitting uh, around the Roman. Uh, a, 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 a stone that, that, that has the Roman 
uh, the Romans sitting around and, and talking to uh, uh, a stone that has the, that's ta- that says it has the unknown God, and and he's talking to the learned men around that stone, and he's he's preaching to them, trying to get them to uh, uh, understand who the one true and living God is, and trying to convert them to follow Christ. Why would he do that? And let me he find would do that there. because if you are a Greek or if you're a Jew who calls themselves a Greek, you will worship that statue. Much like today, we have our people, our brothers and sisters in Roman Catholicism praying to a white Mary statue, praying to saints and vener- or what they want to call venerating them, thinking that this saint will help you with this and this saint will help you with love and this saint will help you with that. Because our people are lost inside of pagan customs. So, therefore, he needs to bring them back. And once again, and this is something that we went over two weeks ago, which, which you might change your story now, but it's on tape that you said this two weeks ago, that once again, Romans was written to Rome. You understand? And I asked you when it brought up the Gentiles who these Gentiles were. And you stated they were other nations when we quoted Hosea. I'm not sure if you remember that. Paul quoted Hosea, and Hosea was only talking about Israelites. Once again, you can bring up Rome, but you can't show me anywhere in Paul's letters, you understand, in Romans or any time he went to Corinth or whatever, that this is for any other nation. So the reason as to why he had to teach them to stop worshiping a statue is because they were under the influence of pagans. They were in captivity. They didn't know their identity. And a pagan or a heathen will worship a rock, will worship a stone. And they had to know you are Israelites. You can come back and worship our God. Okay, and that's so at Mars Hill, he's speaking. It says in, uh, in in Acts 17. This is where where, where I, was, I was looking for in Acts 17. It says for all the Athenians and the strangers which were which were there spent their time in nothing else. This is the 21st verse, but neither to to tell or to hear some new thing. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, "Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too suspicious. For as I passed by, I believe." I beheld your devotions, and I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, uh, help worship him declare I unto you. He's talking to everybody there on Mars Hill. He's talking to all the men. And he's not just talking to the Jews that were on Mars Hill. Okay, and this but, is in, in Acts 17. I'm 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 reading Acts 17 right now. You understand? And then now, once again, when Paul goes and when he teaches, he's teaching in an open setting. You understand? When he's sitting That's there right. speaking to people, once again, he's speaking out in the open, and his message is for the Jews. That's why in in Acts 21, when he came back, he says, "From me preaching, I found all the Jews that want to serve the Lord. I found all the Jews that are among these Gentiles." So even though, once again, I can go back and read Acts 21 when he gets back and gives the report of what he did in Athens, what he did throughout all his travels. He stated these Jews who are zealous of the law. Mm -hmm. You understand? Just like when we go out onto the corner, there might be some white people listening, but we're not. We tell them we're not here for you. We didn't come here for you. Stop worshiping Mary. Stop worshiping white Jesus. And then we come back. And we tell all had a listen. We went out to camp today. There was a ton of Jews out there among these Gentiles who want to serve the Lord. They come into camp and all black. They're ready to put their boots on. They're ready to boot up or shut up. You understand? So once again, mm-hmm. when he's out here, you can't show me where Paul invited them back to the congregation. You can't show me where Paul stated that this is for all of you. He's talking to his people at Mars Hill. What Paul did was he was a perfect opportunist. He was apt to he teach didn't... And he used this moment to captivate and teach his people to come back to the Lord. He he didn't invite them all back because he can't invite folks back that don't believe. But if they believed and were converted, they were and, and they believed 
and what he was said and believed in Christ, then they were converted and followed him. And it wasn't just the Jews. And, and, and that's right in there, in that passage, where it talks about what I'm talking to everybody. What, what would be the point? Brother, it's nowhere in that passage. That okay, it has okay. made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell in all the face of the earth and has developed uh, the times before appointed in the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the, what? the Lord if, if this is 26, hold on, hold on. and happily they in might the, the, feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. Brother, I'm asking you a question. In the what of their habitation? In the bounds. What's a bound? That means bound up. Oh. That means and, and that means that, that means that they 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 they're worshiping the wrong god. So, oh, a boundary in the hab in the habitation. He made all people and set their boundaries. That's separation, brother. In the very verse you read, he's talking about how God separates people. He's explaining to the people that the Lord separates people. How God people. separates people, right, those that believe and those that don't. Right, and the Israelites, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. He's separating them. He's separating them from all these other people. God is separating believers from non-believers. And the only people and that's what he said. to understand... Would that believe which matter or Israelites? I can give you ten more scriptures to prove this. You still haven't shown me where this is for everybody. Still haven't shown me where at where salvation, where Christ came for all people. I still haven't seen it. The very verse you pulled is showing that God is separating all men, all different races. He separated men by their boundaries and their habitations. He has separated one blood of all nations. He has made of one blood all nations of men. Right. So now you believe in the apocrypha, you said. Uh oh. Yeah. You should scroll. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Uh, yes. No problem. Have your pocket in front of you? No, I don't. No problem. I, anybody on this phone have the pocket for? Uh, I do, and I can uh, read that for you. Uh, uh, what verse are you looking for? No, I want Second Ezra six and fifty four. Huh? Con out of one con. In Second Ezra, oh, this is the apocrypha, the King James version. This is Second Ezra, <laughs> chapter six. Verse 54, and it reads, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Verse 55, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, now, because the Lord spoke all of this before thee. You understand that everybody comes from Adam. Right? Everybody wants to talk about this one blood. Dad? Mm-hmm. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Dad? Verse, verse 56. As for the other people, which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto they are nothing. Dead. But be like unto spittle, and have you know like spittle is, Pastor Will. I hear you. You know what spit is? To hear, the, hear the word of the Lord. Don't hear me. You know what spittle is? Yes, spit. But it's spit. That, that's spewed These out of your mouth. Are spit. You understand? They are spit. They are nothing to the Lord, even though they all come from Adam. Dead. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And they are just one drop. Go ahead. Verse 57. And now, O Lord, behold, 
these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to reputed as nothing. You you stated that there was a time when the Lord wanted to open up these doors to them. He never wanted to open up to them. That's why this is talking about the boundaries. The Lord don't care about them. He's separating Israelites who believe from these heathens, and the ones who don't can die with these heathens. The ones who want to join hands with their oppressor and with the people who Hellenize them or Americanize them can die with them. Read on. Don't I don't want to come. Reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Verse 58. You understand? So now, with all that being said, you understand? Well, everybody's one blood. Yeah, everybody comes from Adam, but the Lord made boundaries. The Lord separated us from all these other people. So when Paul's out here, He's speaking to Israelites because these heathens have ever been reputed as nothing. That's why the Lord separated us from them. And Paul came out there to separate his people from them again. Okay. I, 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 that, that, that's the word. But God, I'll, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the scriptures in, in the uh in, in in Exodus, the reason uh, God put put uh, us into slavery because he he, he viewed uh, the children of Israel the same way at one point in time, and then God came to to uh, repentance, which God, He says God cannot repent, but God came came to repentance and and uh, brought the children of Israel out so that they could re, re, could. Uh, um, redeem themselves. So and they are the were to be, and, they, and it says, and I got to find the scriptures. Says he, he, they're the light for the world. They are the example for the world. And that's in. I wait. I wait for this scripture. Okay. So, I, I agree with what you said on as, as far as uh, mankind came from, or what the, the the word says about mankind came from Adam, and it says that yeah, it's spittle. But God still, Scott, God said in His Word in the New Testament, He wished that none should be lost, but all should come to to the knowledge of Him and be saved. Let me find that. You haven't shown me where the covenants, where the promises, where salvation goes to every nation. You've shown me Paul speaking in an open setting, but you haven't shown me where he came there for other people. You've shown me, you've shown me scriptures that speak of Hellenists, which are actually Jews, which we read about, which were converted, especially at this time period. You haven't shown me anything that you're stating in the scriptures. Well, I gave you the scriptures now, and 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 you you disputed those scriptures, but that I showed you where it, where it said, and I showed you where it said that the Hellenistics were not just Jews. And I'm finding another scripture that talks about where God where where uh, the Bible tells us that God wished that none should be lost and all should be saved. And you're saying that the word of God says that all should perish, and none should, be, and only uh, only a, a remnant will be saved. And though, and, and of course, in in in, in uh, Revelations it does talk about the twelve tri- the twelve, the one hundred and forty four. Then it talks about a number that no man can number, in which the uh, those forty those hundred and forty four will be ruling over or will be judging. But let me find this scripture. In Romans five, uh, Romans five and and uh, was this twelve? 
It says, Wherefore, as by one man sin one by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so sin passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law was until the law was in the world, but sin was not imputed that there was no sin. Ne- nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the multitude of Adam's transgression. Who is the figure of him that uh, was to come? All right. So right there he's talking about all men have sinned uh, and come short, but that the promise is coming uh, um, through, through Jesus Christ. The 15th verse says, but not as an offense, so also is the free gift. For if though the offense of one, many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, by, uh, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, has abound unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. It says, for if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. One man sinned, one man caused all to sin, one man caused all to, through one man all can be saved. And that's that's in in Romans five. Romans five okay, verse so twelve. We got we got I I'm I'm reading I know exactly where you're at now. Once again when you're reading this, it's talking about the law. What law? The law that was given to Moses. You, it mentions Adam and it mentions Moses and it mentions Adam. And we read the verse a minute ago that even though everybody came from Adam, even though sin came on to old man, those other nations are still nothing. And then when it starts to speak about the law, who was the law given to? Was the law given to Israel or was the law given to all people? It was given to Israel through Moses. Contextually, everything you read is only pertaining to Israel. I'll give you. I'll give you a perfect precept for this verse right Contextually, here. Contextually, everything I read is not just for Israel, because it said one, it one man caused sin, and then one man do, can do, reverse okay. the sin. It says it right there. Do, do, do we do we have to read? You understand? Who is that one man? Adam. Adam, and all nations come from who? Adam. Even though all men get to sin, who is the Lord's chosen people? You understand that? We just read about it in Second Ezra. Even though all these people suffered from the sins, everybody comes from Adam, who still means something to the Lord? The, the children Israel. of Israel. And what are the, uh, and, and what are the other nations? Even though everybody came from Adam, even though everybody suffers death under Adam, uh, according to the the uh, um, uh, apocrypha, they're spittle. But you but said the, you believe the, 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 in the but did, 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 Didn't so, Jesus even say? Did, didn't Jesus even? He said that 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 you don't give pearls to to the do- or, or uh, um, pearls to the dogs. But he, he even he even helped that uh, that Gentile person uh, with her uh, I- infirmity or with her child. Okay, so now so, if, if so, you really so why, want to go there, so, why? Okay, okay, you know what? We'll we'll, we'll go there. I, I'm going to answer your question, and I have a question for you. That we're we're going to go to Mark the seventh chapter in the twenty fifth verse, and we're going to find out why Christ healed her. Even though you're changing the topic, I'm going to come back to this, but I'm going to answer your question just to show, just to show that you don't even well, understand. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not changing the topic. It's saying the same thing that through one man, that that uh, righteousness comes to all. 
Okay, no, 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 no problem. All right, and I, I will show you the only reason why Christ helped her. All right. So now, this is Mark the seventh chapter and the twenty sixth verse. Let me know when you're there. I want you to. I want you to read this with me, Pastor mm-hmm. Will. I'm here. Right, you're there. The woman was in. You start with the twenty fifth. You're at the twenty fifth. This is. I'm in the twenty sixth verse. You want me to start, start with twenty five? I'll start at twenty five. Yeah. I'll start at twenty five. For a certain woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek. What type of Greek? A Syrophoenician by nation, meaning this was a white woman. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meat. It's not good to take the children's bread and cast it onto dogs. What did he just call her? He called her an animal. He called her a dog. He called a woman yeah, a, a dog. And a a dog, a filthy dog. Now, and she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord. Yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumb. Now, you have the children of Israel. Children, that's a human. And then we have an animal. He called her an animal. He called her a subhuman. You understand? So now, she says, Yes, I am a dog. But don't we get crumbs that fall from the table? Not a loaf. Not anything else but crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying, go thy way. Why did he heal her? Uh, I'm assuming he healed her because of the fact that she acknowledged who he was. What does the scripture say? It said that that he, he, he it said, uh, uh, for this saying, go thy way, and the devil is gone what out of her. What was the saying that he that that she came down and she kneeled at his feet and 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 she recognized who he was. Hold up, for this saying, she had to say something that he approved of. What did she say? She said that yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. So how did she identify herself? No, uh, she identified herself as a dog. Oh. So you're telling me that she recognized that she's below the children of Israel, that she recognized that she's an animal compared to the children of Israel. She acknowledged uh, what he said, and by her acknowledging what he said, what did he do? But what was what he said? So, we so by by her by her by dog. her acknowledging that Christ, that means that 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 by her acknowledging Christ, that means that he had mercy on her. Correct. She acknowledged what? Don't say he. She acknowledged Christ. She acknowledged what Christ said, and she agreed with him. She said, well, I am a dog. in order to acknowledge what Christ said, she had to recognize who he was. Is a dog and a human equal? No, not in my eyesight. No, no, not in God's eyesight either. Not in Jesus' eyesight either, which is why we Israel is the children and this Syrophoenician is the dog. You are a dog, and that's the only reason why she got the crumb, because she acknowledged her position below Israel. You're pulling but scriptures. He still, my he still showed her mercy. Okay, if he if, if he was, if he didn't why, want to, but, why but, 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 did he show her mercy for this covenant? What was her saying? I mm. get to be like the children of Israel. No, I'm a dog. All I want is a crumb from the chosen children. You're better than me. You're, if you just said, well, according to my understanding, humans are not equal to dogs. So she Did recognized Jesus not her show existence. her compassion? Did, why so, did so, he give so her therefore, the compassion? Why, why, why wouldn't why he just, did he why give would, her the compassion? Why wouldn't he just turn her away and say no? Because you, you, 
uh, even 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 uh, 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 in, in your position, you don't you don't you're not getting anything. You know what? Okay, let's let's find this out. Oh, so the, for the same reason the government gives black people food stamps. You understand? The government gives black people food we get stamps crumbs. because it's beneficial get, for them. We get we get crumbs that fall off the American table, but we don't get a fair shake. You understand now? You know what? Let me let me let me let me try to let me try to broaden this a little bit more because I know you don't see it and you don't want to admit it that she admitted she's not equal to the children of Israel. Do I never that said that. No, I was? never said that. So, now I never said that she didn't say she wasn't equal. What I said was that even her saying and seeing that she's not equal, he still showed compassion for her. So if he showed so, compassion so, for her, so here's the thing. Why, why are you saying so, that, that, that that nobody else can be has saved? Nothing to do, compassion has nothing to do with salvation. Compassion has nothing to do with the covenant. He gave her a food stamp. He gave her an EBT card. That's why, once again, they're not equal. She's not in the same league as the Israelites. The child, there's children, which is Israel, and then there's dogs, which is her. You're proving my point. No, you're actually proving mine because if 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 he showed her compassion, it is not saying that she has to be equal because the Bible says that they're gonna be elite in which Why are the twelve tribes of compassion? Israel. Okay? But then it also says that there's a why, number that no man can number. So, so, so you're saying he, that, that, on, that, that those crumbs can't on. fall to make her be a part of that number. Did he just see her and show her compassion, or did she have to do something to get the compassion? She had to do something to get the compassion. We all have to do something to, to, to be saved. So what did she – so he is not just giving compassion out to everyone. So what does a heathen have to do in order to get compassion from Christ? They have to recognize who he is, and then they have to, to repent. Okay, what did she do? She didn't just recognize who she was. What did she do? Now, focus, focus. I know this is hard for you. I know. It's not hard. It's very simple. It's right there. I mean, I, I'm, I'm seeing what, what, what it says. And you're saying that so he's well, not, he's she had to she had to admit she was a dog him. in order for it to get Jesus to do something for her, okay? And I'm saying he that even though she admitted she animal. was a dog, okay, then he still did it for. Her. Why did he do it? He didn't have to do anything. If he came and for notice, just the the notice, the the, 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 the lost down. sheep, which he said he did, then and they and they rejected him, then. Why, why, why not just just uh, uh, turn her away and not do anything? So that lets First me know all, that God, God has compassion right there. Him. Even the, even for those even for the, those lesser the than the children of Israel, He says they're going to be an, an, an elite people. Yeah, the twelve tribes. He said she was below him and the children of Israel, and then the oh, and he was going to dismiss her. The only reason why she got compassion was because she knew her place was beneath Israel. Heathens are beneath Israel. They don't get covenant. You know what they can get? You, you, your daughter's healed. You can get a food stamp. You can get WIC for your baby. You understand? That doesn't mean you get to become a citizen. That doesn't mean that you get to sit at the table with the children. You're a dog. Take your crumb and go away. You know, when you read Matthew's, the 15th chapter, he ignored her at first. The disciples yeah. wanted to send her away. Where was all the compassion? I thought Jesus loves everybody. Why doesn't he just love everybody? Because he wasn't dealing with these heathens. But she knew her place in the world as a dog, as an animal, as a subservient creature to the children of Israel. You proved my point. I appreciate you. No, yeah. you proved my That's point because he still had compassion on her, even though she was a sinner, even though she was was not a a a, 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 a worshiper in the way they worshipped. He still had compassion and he still uh, saw for her needs. And this is what so it still proved, it proved my point. The only times, the only times heathens get compassion is like Rahab, Rahab or Rahab, whatever you want to call her. She killed her entire nation. She let Israel come in and destroy all her people, 
and then she got to live. You because they were what? What did this woman do? She said, they were, I but, but why, 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 did, why, why, did, why did she allow her entire nation to be killed? Because they were non-believers. Because Israel was to reign supreme. Because Israel and because was they were to rule that non-believers. Land. And I know my time, our time is up. Outside. It's what, 8 o'clock? So, <laughs> the brother, it's been good talking to you. Captain. I, 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 hey, I, I appreciate you, Pastor Will. I, I appreciate you proving my <laughs> points, too. Well, okay. you proved some uh, of mine, too. So I thank you for that. Okay, uh, and we'll go ahead and end this up um, in just a second. Um, so uh, just to get clarification, um, we're saying prove points and prove points. But just for the uh, the radio listeners, Pastor Will, um, what point uh, what point did Captain Katazai Aparian prove for you and pull the scripture that uh, supports that statement? And likewise, as well, uh, Captain Katazai uh, Aparian, you will respond to that as well as pulling the scripture, and we'll uh, end this glorious uh, biblical dialogue and have. Um, Pastor Willie, come back on again in another setting. Not unless you want to stay on. Uh, we have it won't be a um, a um, biblical dialogue, but it will be. But it won't be like this. It'll be uh, us bringing up different topics and local issues of news and so forth right there. So if you want to hang around, uh, Pastor Will, we would love to have you uh, hang around for a little bit later. Uh, but go ahead and um, go ahead and state the fact why uh, Captain Carter has proven your point and then bring up a scripture to uh, substantiate that, and then he'll do the same. Okay, well, I mean, just sticking with the scriptures we were just talking about, when it comes to to those that are lost, the the word of God tells us that that Jesus came to save all those that are lost. And this woman, uh, when even though she had, she admitted that she was below him because she was a sinner. It, that he still had compassion enough on her to to take care of a need that she had. He could have sent her away. He could have told her no, but he still did. And 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 therefore, God wishes that none would be lost, but all should come to the knowledge of Christ and come to repentance and acknowledge who He is and be saved. But some are not going to do it anyway. Some some are not going to acknowledge who Christ is, and 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 therefore, salvation is lost. Right, but not a sinner, but a dog, as the uh, scriptures say. And I would dog and sinner, are the, if, if you are a sinner, you are the, on the same level as a dog, because because that means but, that you are lost and you cannot get into the kingdom. And, and if I may, and the reason as to why you proved what I was saying is because you're adding to the word. Nowhere in that verse does it mention sinner. It mentions the children, a race, a nation of people, Israel, and separates them from the dogs, which was the heathen. And because she recognized that, she got healed. Nowhere does it say she was lost. Nowhere does it say she was a sin. Was she was a sinner. You understand? Nowhere does it say anything about the children of Israel that he came for, being sinners or not. It says the children get fed first because she was another nation looking to get healed. And he says, I'm here for the children, not for your people. You are dogs. And she says, I'm a dog. All my people are dogs. But shouldn't we get the crumbs that fall from the table? So if we're going to speak on it, let's speak on it in proper context. He, he ignored, excuse me, he ignored her in Matthew, the 15th chapter. The disciples wanted to send her away, but she recognized herself as being inferior to the children of Israel, not because of sin, but because of the race that she came from. Okay, and Pastor, just real quick, yeah. and so this, this I'm gonna, the, uh, can, I, can I say one yeah. thing to, to this, this of passage? Of course you can, of course you can, go ahead. In 27, it, Jesus says this, this very thing. He said, let the children first be filled. Let the children first first be filled. Then he says, for it's not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. So if it says first be filled, if, if it's, that means that next the others can be also filled. Now, it's, and that's, that's, 
Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I apologize. Go ahead. No, no, That's no it. Sweat. That's it. And once again, children are being fed, not dogs, which is what he called her and everyone like her. So that means that children have to get fed, but dogs can get scratched. First. Dogs first, can get scraps when, first, when the children are done. First. And Pastor Willie, is that your explanation is or, or your interpretation, sir, as that's, all that's, nations can be saved? Does that mean salvation to you? Yes. Okay. Because sa- right. saving means salvation. It's, right, but... Uh, I don't see the word save. Let me see. I have the King James Version 1611. Uh, let me see. I don't see the word save. Does it say save? Are you looking at the King James Version? And, and what, this scripture here? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for the word save. You said uh, that means save. save. No, no. Well, you said the save I, I is sal- means salvation. Do you mean when it says field, or is he talking about salvation? Is that what you mean? Uh, I mean, what is your interpretation? Jesus here, even though he's talking to this woman, this, 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 uh, the Bible, the, the Bible ha- has spiritual meaning and also has physical meanings too. And 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 if we're looking at this literally, he says first. If it says first, that means there's something co- that, that that comes second, third, and fourth. And 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 when he's talking about field, he. The the context means he's talking about doing something for God's children. Okay. So that's that's and that's got, how I interpreted that children? when I'm looking at the scripture. I'm through. Right, but Christ didn't say go and be saved, right? He didn't say go and be saved, did he? As far as what? When Before he's talking the to her. Of this- Right, yes, yes, yes. The woman that he's speaking about, did he say, go now and go be saved? Like this, no, this he said that when she, she was a, come a to her house, she found that the devil, got, uh, the devil gone out and her daughter lay upon the bed. That's, right, that's so pretty much all that, 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 that entire, said. Okay, so this constitutes an entire nation or other nations like Japanese, Chinese, things. From this scripture, you're saying that all nations, this is the evidence that all nations can be saved. By this, right? That's one one scripture. Yeah, that I'm that that I I say that that it, it, it it's talking when he's talking about a different nationality. Yeah, there's one okay. scripture. Now and, one, and we can get now into, one we can get into at another time. There's one more scripture to validate that point because a lot of the people who are listening on the phone uh, and the phone lines are lighting up, but um, we're trying to get another scripture. That substantiates just, just, this just before, just before, just before he gets that scripture, just notice that Christ said, "It's not meat, M E E T, which is an old Quaker English word for good, to take the children's bread, which is the children of Israel, and cast it to dogs." Meaning that they're not supposed to get fed from that. But she said she just wanted a crumb from it. Christ never had any intentions. He says it's not good to give you what belongs. To right, you. and 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 just to add one more thing, uh, Pastor Will. Bread is, 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 is blessing, not salvation. And he was not giving salvation at that time. The judgment had not come yet, right? Uh, all nations are to be blessed, not saved. That's Genesis 26 and 4, okay? So, okay. Genesis uh, and 26 now, and 4. Uh, Genesis chapter 26, verse 4, right? And... Um, Captain Katazar, if you would uh, go ahead and I guess you can give another uh, supporting um, scripture that supports that to let uh, let it know that um, Israel um, is the only one that can have salvation. I mean, it's it's literally all over the scriptures, including in every scripture that he told. Um, I guess if I guess if I was going to close out with anything, what I would close out with which this is the end all be all and, and nobody ever responds to this scripture. You understand? So Okay. Uh, let me just grab it one second. This is Hebrews chapter nine and verse fifteen. So now we're talking about Christ here. It says, And for this hold on. And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament. 
talking about Christ. He's the mediator. Why? Because Christ, of the, uh, the Most High, did not want to deal with us. Christ had to be the go-between. He is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, meaning... Those that had to get redeemed had to be under the First Testament. The First Testament is what? The Old Testament, the Old Covenant. You understand? Meaning what? If you were not under the Old Covenant, you understand? You were not under the New Covenant. So I'm going to read all this again. And it is, and for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. So this is how you get the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. If you were not under the first, you are not under the new. Clear as day, Hebrews 9 and 15. Do you agree with that, Pastor Will? Um, when we're talking about the Old and New Testament, who's the covenant? First made with, and was it made with Adam? Adam sinned, and 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 lost the covenant, or was it made with? It's talking about uh, Moses. It's, it's talking about and, Abraham and, and, Isaac, and, and the children of Israel. Israel. Talking about Abraham, Isaac to Israel. And that's Hebrews. What? 9 and 15, stating that if you were not under the first covenant, you were not under the new. I'm not familiar, and I'm, I can't give you a, an answer to that tonight. Okay. All right, that's honest. That's honest. That, that's definitely big of you, Pastor Will. Mhm. That's right. Okay, and uh, what will but, but this, uh, this I will be uh, this I will be looking into in two weeks. We'll be talking about it. Fantastic. Okay, and just a couple of scriptures I want to end uh, as far as Romans uh, Romans chapter nine, uh, ch- uh, chapter four. Uh, excuse me, Romans chapter nine, verses four and five. And I would like to read uh, Romans chapter eleven, verse twenty six, Pastor. Okay, so again, Paul speaking. I'll start at verse 3. Uh, for I wish, excuse me, uh, for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Okay, brethren, kinsmen, that's family member, that's bloodline, lineage, okay? According to the flesh. This is not some spiritual thing. Verse 4, who are Israelites? Okay. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. That adoption, those children of Israel right, who were not born inside uh, of Israel like us over here, Gentiles, those people would be adopted back into the fold because they were born um, away from the commonwealth of Israel. Considered aliens, right? Gentiles uh, by what they practice, okay? And the glory, right? Kingdom, right? And the covenants, both old and new, right? First covenant and the second covenant, and the giving of the law, as Captain Kadaza explained to you in Psalms, that was 147, verses 19 and 20. Um, the, the law was only given to Israel. And the service of God and the promises as well are only given to the children of Israel. And, of course, through your own admission, uh, you agree to that. Uh, Verse 5, whose are the fathers? Not everybody's fathers. Whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, there it is again, the flesh, Christ came, who was over all, God bless forever, amen. So this thing of being adopted in as a spiritual Israelite, uh, blew my mind when I first was uh, introduced to the truth. Uh, again, the last verse will be Romans 11, okay? And um, we'll start here uh, at, at, at 25. I'll read 25 and 26. For I, for I would not, brethren, 
again, brethren, that's 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 family member kinfolk, right? Uh, that ye should not be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits. That blindness, in part, is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. And, of course, you've been a pastor. Of course, you know uh, Jacob's name was changed in Genesis 32 and 28, and again reiterated in Genesis uh, Genesis 35 and uh, verse, verse 10. Jacob is the progenitor of the children of Israel, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, those 12 patriarchs, blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, our West Indian brothers from North, South, Central America. And those would be the only ones uh, who can be saved according to the Bible. Okay. All right. Any other comment you would like to make, Pastor Will? No, not as not tonight. We're good. I appreciate okay. you uh, right. inviting and having me on tonight, and uh, we look forward to uh, being on again and in, in, uh, at the next broadcast. All right. Fantastic. And I really respect you for admitting that you don't know or you had to come back at another time. That's four and few in between with a lot of pastors. I do appreciate that. I respect you on that level, okay? Uh, Captain Katazai, uh, Parian, uh, the ISUPK, uh, closing words uh, from you, out of one. I mean, uh, that, that's, it's pretty much sewed up in the bag right there, you know what I'm saying? So, but I can tell you how, why I was shy, you know what I'm saying, as, as far as everything goes, you know what I'm saying? But once again, salvation is for Israel. Hebrews 9 and 15. You understand? Sold it up. Appreciate you.